up ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. It is I, Miguel the Annual Pass Holder here, back with a brand new video here today. Today I am at Wild Adventures in Valdosta, Georgia. It is the opening week of, well, the reopening week of this park and man, it's so nice to be here right now. Nobody's here. There were only six cars in the parking lot, which is crazy. We're about to see what this uh, park has to offer. Gonna bring you guys along with me and have an amazing day. Let's go enjoy ourselves right now. Ready, right when you come into the park, to your left, you immediately have a play safe with us mask free zone right here in this area. Yes, best day ever because there's nobody here at this park. So you can come over here. Your first mask free break zone is already near the entrance. Crazy. You can see our first coaster is right here going behind us right there and it's themed It's themed to roller skates. We're gonna get on this right now as our first credit right near the entrance of the park All right, so Outpost Express. Let's give it a try a big coaster for little adventures See right behind it. You got a wild mouse coaster right there guys crazy Express was a little snappy. It was it was a fun ride. One credit down, guys. Don't know how many are here. I didn't do any research at all. That was fun. A nice little helix sequence there at the end. Pretty cool. First coaster credit at this park. You guys can hear I'm smiling a little bit. This is just really fun. Nobody is here at this park. But I will say it's about 95 degrees here in South Georgia and it's gonna be a hot one today. Of course, play safe with us. Masks are required here at this park. They have a lot of social distancing guidelines and everything play safe with us right there. Uh, one travel group per bench, all that stuff, all the way around. And again, the coaster right there. But as we saw when we were walking in, they got a wild mouse coaster right there. Let's get on that right now, boys and girls. Wild mouse coaster right there behind me. It is a walk on, guys. Let's get on it right now. Go bananas. Go Bananas, the Wild Adventures Wild Mouse Coaster. That thing was super janky and scary. There are no trim brakes really on that thing. Uh, <laughs> it was crazy. Uh, I had the whole thing, it was a walk-on, had the whole train to myself. They do give you hand sanitizer when you sit down. Of course, no filming, no hats, you can hold your hats, all that stuff. But it was really, really interesting. Two creds down in a matter of 10 minutes, boys and girls. Let's get on some more things, everything is empty here. Literally, it is empty here. Nobody is here at this park. What I'm gonna do is get on all of the coasters right now and then I'm gonna explore the rest of the park because there's a petting zoo right there behind me and they do have wildlife here so and some cool gators. So we're gonna explore that in a second, a little bit later on, but let's make sure we get all the coasters in because it is supposed to rain around 2 or 3 o'clock. Right now it's about 11 a.m. Completely empty. Next, the park's boomerang coaster called Boomerang. Let's go ride it. As you can see, nobody is in the station. It is a complete walk on. So, as you can see right here, you have the river rapids that's straight ahead, and then the boomerang called Boomerang right here in front of me. We're gonna knock this out really quick. Three creds in the matter of about 15 minutes. Complete walk on. All right, so just got off a of boomerang right there behind me. <laughs> that thing is quite intense and uncomfortable in the front row because in the front it's shaped like a shoe. Yeah, I kind of grayed out a little bit in the front. That thing is quite intense in the front. I'm not gonna lie to you. So that was really fun. Three creds down in the matter of 15 minutes. I actually approve of that one. Keep 
play safe with those six feet distance, social distancing signs around here, around the park, all around the park. And of course they have hand sanitizer all around the park in the queue lines. So up next is Swamp Thing, the Vacoma family inverted coaster. Let's give it a try. As you guys can see, it's a complete walk on. Nobody is here. <laughs> Spacing out the rows here, guys, as you can see. We're up next. they're wiping down per cycle after each person gets off because I just got off of the front and they're wiping it down right now for the next batch of people. Just got off of another Vacoma coaster. This one has a lot of head banging going on with it but it was um it wasn't bad it wasn't awful it wasn't good either so uh, a matter of been there for about 30 minutes or so four coasters down guys four coasters down it's a pretty good day. I need this more in my life, guys. Let's go on to some more things. Look at raccoon, everybody. Hey, buddy. How are you today? I know it's hot. <laughs> this is cool. So they have a lot of animal exhibits here, too, as well. He's just chilling, facing the other way. ooh -wee. That thing right there is right there. Insane. All these animal exhibits around me right here with a live gator show right there. Not open at the moment, but it'll be open up a little bit later. Completely empty. This is super cool. This is Discovery Outpost. This is the kids area right there. Wow. I don't know why I thought that was a real snake right there. <laughs> I don't know, but yes, yeah, really cool. Six kiddie rides around here in this area, but they have a kiddie coaster credit that we're about to try to get on if they allow us. So. Let's give it a shot because it's right here behind me. As mentioned, they have the hand sanitizer at the beginning of the queue and at the exit as well, all the way around. It's a nice little area here. Super hot, no shade whatsoever though. All right, woo! <laughs> Solo, just me on this, getting the kitty cred. He was super cool to let me on here. Here we go, boys and girls. He also is running two different rides right now. And we're off. Woo! Snappy. Little Wild Mouse coaster here. Woo! This thing has some zip to it. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, the biggest trap. No, the little trap. <laughs> ah! Here we go. Okay, I think we did it. Oh my goodness. A little. That was quick. Woo! One that special? Two? We're going again. We're going again. We're going again. Woo! There we go. We're going again. One more time around. Oh my goodness. It's a little zippy. Woo! Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Ah! Ah! Super quick. Oh my goodness. They were nice enough to let me film on this. <laughs> there we go. One more time around. Woo! Oh my! One more! One more! Ah! There we go. We did it. <laughs> was super fun. He let me film on that. So shout out to him. Really cool guy. Really nice. But yes, we're in the kids area. Um, I was fortunate enough to get that little kitty credit right there. That was a blessing. But yeah, let's walk around and see what else is here. Oh uh, man. Again, like 35 minutes I've been on five roller coasters. Five coaster creds down. And uh, let's see what else they have to offer. Just like at Dollywood last week, they have the hand washing station. They're owned by the same company, so uh, yeah, it seems like everything's on point. There's a cleaning going on here. Again, nobody is here at the park at all. It is completely empty. It's just me. It's just me sitting here at this park, just going over all the coasters. I'm not sure how many there are left. I need to go check a map. They didn't hand out any physical maps or anything like that. So uh, yeah, again, the Wild Mouse Coaster right there. Go Bananas. Super crazy. Got a Ferris wheel there as well. And of course, a little covered tent area along with the kitty area right there, Discovery Outpost, which has the animals behind there too. And a walking trail where you can see monkeys and stuff. So it's really, really cool. Ice cream all around Dippin' Dots. Everything. Everything you see. What do you see? They do have some topiaries right there behind me. Let's check them out. Do 
have a recharge and refresh area so you can charge your cell phone and relax. So really cool, a lot of outlets right there. Very convenient, I think majority of parks really need this. Got a nice high bench here. Nice shaded area that takes off of the degrees here at the park because again, it's about 95 degrees here with mask on. It's worse than any of the other parks that I've experienced, but it's not, not awful though so far. So there's not a lot of shade, but there are shaded areas like this around the park that you guys can relax and take your mask off and just recharge and refresh. Another area like this where you can sit down one party per bench and they have the pop jets uh, right behind me that aren't currently on but will uh, spray water if I'm not mistaken around the park. But you can see it's also covered for you to relax and refresh. No, unfortunately enough for me, I talked to a team member and their CCI wooden coaster Cheetah is currently down for major repairs and maintenance right now. So this really sucks because that was the number one coaster I was looking forward to riding and it's down. Look at this water right here, it's really crazy. Also the theme music around here is really, really nice. So, I don't know, but I got on everything else so I can't complain, so I just have to come back. It's not that far of a commute for me, so... Yeah, I just gotta come back and uh, get on Cheetah at another time, guys. But anywho, let's go explore the rest of this park, see what it has to offer. It's all good, we've got on majority of the rides, as I mentioned. So you have a really nice logo right here of Falcon Flyer, and then you also have yeah, Blazer Blast Off right here, dedicated to Valdosta State University, since we are in Valdosta, Georgia, which is a local university here, Valdosta State. Yeah, drop tower right here in effect. Believe it or not, it is operating right now. It's just really dead here, so nobody's on it at the moment. Behind me there is the Park Scrambler, which you can currently see cleaning is taking place right here, right now. They're doing a very good job, might add, cleaning up all the rides and wearing masks. <laughs> it's hard to see right here that's a lion <laughs> that's a lion just chilling because it is way too hot even for the lion I feel you buddy I feel you it's really really hot what I'm about to show you guys I thought from afar that it was animatronic but it's definitely not so I'll show you guys in a second let me get a closer look for you all looky here two giraffes that one is really really tall hey there Hello there. How are you two? Super cool. Hey guys, I like your hair. Your hair is really nice. Little wallabies right there. Next time, next time I'll get on it. It's just right there. Next time. All right guys, here is the whole map of the park right here. So, I've already been on this. Been on Boomerang. Had a chance to get on Swamp Thing. I got on the little kitty cred right there. Had a chance to get on Go Bananas. I did not get on Cheetah because it's closed. Look at that layout though. That thing is incredible. That it is a straight up beast. Next time though. And I guess my last cred of the day is Twisted Typhoon right there. Let's get on it. Sheesh. Let's take a seat, have a little drink. It's almost reaching 100 degrees. Uh, I guess I was a little bit dehydrated and I'm glad I took a chance and stopped running around so much because I always run around and I have to remind myself to drink and um, I'm all good. But the scrambler's running right there behind me. Look at it go. But yes, ooh, nice refreshing beverage. I see my next poster right there. Let's get it. Look what's operating. Shoots them right on up. Nice. I know it's hard to see, but Falcon Fly has a nice little lighting package on it for the nighttime. I must admit, across the lake right there, I can stand there all day, listen to this theme music, and also look at Boomerang across the water. It is very, very picturesque, but being near this water for some reason, it makes it really, really hot and humid. Here's a look at some things. Here's their holiday Christmas event right here. Wild Adventures Christmas, December 12th through the 27th. Must come check this out. Terror in the Wild, Friday and Saturday nights, during the fall, September 18th through October 31st, Halloween. Kids ages three through five get in for free. You also have Kiddoween, September 19th 
through Halloween as well. This park also does pass holder buttons here, which is really, really cool. I like that feature. Really, really cool. I like this. Light up the sky in July. July 11th, 18th, and the 25th fireworks begin at dark. Really, really nice feature. As you can see, there, there's a lot that this park actually offers throughout the whole year. So it's not just a one-time visit park. You can do a lot of things here and have continuous visits throughout the year, which we just might have to do. They have the Lone Star Family Barbecue right here. Very well themed with the nice music. Barbecue, guys. Barbecue is the move. Keep stumbling upon some more things. They have meerkats here behind me. Hey, buddy. I see you. I see you right there. Hey, yeah, it's me. Miguel the annual pass holder here, back with a brand new video here today. <laughs> yeah, oh, got another friend right there. Where is everybody else? You been okay though? Good, good. Also, some pretty cool photo ops right here for the meerkats. You can put your head right in there and become a meerkat. <laughs> they had snow cones back there. I haven't seen snow cones or had a snow cone in a very, very long time. But behind us here is the Parks Water Park right here. It is really, really needed on a hot day like this. As you can see here, the park shoot the shoots water ride right here. It looks really, really good. Let's see what kind of splash it makes. Looks really, really nice during this hot day. Now it's about 100 degrees here today. Oh yeah, it makes a big splash. It almost got to me and I'm over here on the side. People are completely soaked on that thing. Crazy. But you got Splash Island here behind me. Look at the theming right here. It's very, very Polynesian-esque. It's super nice. The water park is much more crowded because it's a very hot day. But man, it's very, very beautiful in there. Matter of fact, let me show you around a little bit really quick. Missing any time. You have the park's Lazy River right here near the entrance. Oh, it looks really gorgeous right now. <laughs> Too hot for this, but believe it or not, the Wild Adventures nice spirit jerseys right here. Very nice. And I like this. It looks like Supreme, guys. Wild Adventures. Hype Beast. Again, not that busy at all. Very, very nice park. Most definitely gonna come back here for the summertime. Required to wear a mask back here, but welcome to paradise, guys. See here, they have a lot of water slides. They have a lot of kids' areas. They also, behind me right here, have a giant wave pool right here. Let's check it out. But as I figured, there will be no giant waves going on during this time. I guess they're not trying to have a lot of water splashing and going everywhere during the global pandemic with the parks opening back up. Ah, that stinks. Because you guys can see all the way up there, people are up at the front instead of uh, standing a little bit further back because the waves are coming. No waves. You guys can see here, they also have social distance the chairs all around right there. So nobody is close to each other. Everybody's six feet apart. Really, really cool. Good job. So that is Wild Adventures Water Park. I will definitely be back to give you guys a full tour at a later date. See you real soon. All right, so let's get on one more ride, our last coaster credit of the day, because it looks like over here it is about to rain, and the park did get rained out yesterday where it did close up early, so yeah, I want to get this last credit that I can get and uh, go from there. And also, again, we're gonna check out some merchandise and possibly leave away with one mug here. I love the theming here, how they have like the tiki head right here on each post, really nice. You can see Twisted Typhoon right there. Sounds like an RMC. It is a walk-on. Nobody here. Where's everybody? Nobody here. Also, no social distancing markers here in the queue line, but let's go give it a shot. Never mind. They're here when you get closer up to the queue line, closer to the trains. All to myself. Look at this. You don't see this often. A guest left their hat or keys or something like that, lost it, and they're walking underneath the track. Of course, it's not operating right now uh, to go find it while it's on hold, so I haven't seen that much in my days. Overall, is it weird to say that Twisted Typhoon was actually a really good ride? Quite a headache right now, just getting off of it. It's weird, this and the Boomerang were like the two best, more forceful rides in the park today for me. I didn't get a chance once again to ride Cheetah, but overall, pretty solid day. Got on all the coaster creds that were open and available, including the kitty cred. What was it, five, six, or seven creds total? Something like that, I gotta go back and you guys know though. But overall, a really good day. Twisted Typhoon, surprisingly really good. Like I said, a little bit of a headache now, but SLCs, what can you do? No luck whatsoever. 
They are lost. I'm sorry. Lastly, what I'll say about Twisted Typhoon is it had some good elements on there. Really snappy, really quick. Like I said, quite forceful. It had some near misses elements where, of course, it looked like you were gonna get your feet hit and yeah, you had to lift your feet up. It was crazy. It was really good though. Alright guys, officially time for me to head out the park. I am super hot, sweaty, I am drenched. It is hot here. It's a wonderful park, but it is really hot. It reached at a point up to 101 degrees, guys. It is scorching here in South Georgia. But a fun park and a lot of Akoma coasters. A lot of them, guys. Boys and girls, with that being said, that'll do it for me today. I did get my my mug, my merchandise. They didn't have any uh, ones themed towards any of the roller coasters or anything like that, but overall it was a good day. I didn't get to get on the coaster that I wanted to, but there were tons of Vacomas, a lot of things to do, a lot of things around the season, around the year that they offer the park. Also, the membership's about $39 or so, so it was really good. Overall, a really good day. Enjoyed myself. Super, super hot here at the park. Hi, everybody was friendly. They followed all the social distancing guidelines and whatnot and everything was really good make sure you guys subscribe for more content and i have a lot more stuff in store for you guys so with that being said thank you guys so much until then guys i'll catch you guys next time So if you enjoyed the video, you can support the channel via Patreon, where we have all new live streams and exclusive content and giveaways that are dedicated to the patrons on the exclusive Miguel the Annual Passholder Patreon page. And also, if you like looking nice, you can support the channel via our merchandise shop at annualpassholder.shop. You can find amazing t-shirts and hoodies such as this one that you guys can purchase for the low. And feel free to hit that subscribe button and turn it from red to gray and like this video if you enjoyed yourself. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you guys so much and have a thrilling day.